Good afternoon, everyone. We are here at the Viewing Room Art Gallery in Brooklyn, Victoria, and we're going to do a bit of a walk through about the Look Up exhibition um, and how the idea came about and have a look at some of the work specifically Natani. Um, so the Look Up exhibition started percolating in my head a while ago. I was sitting at a coffee shop and um, I was watching, as I do, a young mother with her toddler. And the toddler was playing around the table, having fun, and he took a bit of a tumble and he hit his head rather hard against an umbrella stand. And the mother put down her coffee cup and attended to the child. And it didn't take long and he was smiling and happy and playing again. And he was waddling around again and the mother finished her coffee and her lunch and then she picked up her phone. And the little boy took a fall again, but this time it was a very light fall. He didn't hit anything, he just softly went from his feet onto his knees and onto his hands. And he looked up at his mom again and the first thing he saw is that she was sitting on her phone. And his reaction was completely different to the first fall. The first fall was hard and he was sore. The second fall was soft, but she was sitting with a phone and immediately he started crying. His reaction was to her holding that phone. And the reaction time of the mom was no different, but that young toddler already understands that if somebody has a phone in their hand, their attention is there and not on him. So that's where the idea came about. Then I sent out a brief to the artist to create an exhibition of works that make one look up. It could be lighthearted, um, a lighthearted approach, or it could be a serious approach, but anything that made people look up, something that flies, glides, um, something along that line. So this is what we had. Every artist took a different approach. Some looked at balloons and skyscrapers. Birds. Birds is a very strong theme throughout the exhibition. Um, we have some kites and we even have some flying pigs. So that's the basic idea um, behind it. Although it's a very light-hearted approach that most of the artists took, it's a very serious underlying problem in society today. I see, even with myself, I see people unable to make eye contact anymore. We tend to speak through our phones. We tend to look past people. It's hard to make eye contact. Even when people are on holiday, I see people taking photographs of the most beautiful scenery. But they're not looking at the scenery. They're looking through their phones at the scenery, taking photographs, taking videos. They're not experiencing the moments anymore. I want people to be aware of their life. The other thing that I noticed the more I started thinking about it is that um, we seem to be split into two groups in society right now. We are either people who are creating content for social media or we are people looking at content and feeling like somehow our lives are less than. So the realization that even those people who are content creators uh, are not necessarily really experiencing all the things that life is offering and all the wonderful things that they're seeing. And I'm not saying that's everyone, but certainly that's my experience of some content creators. And for those of us who are not content creators, but those of us just watching content, it can be rather disheartening to think that our lives are somehow less than, less exciting, um, less fulfilled. There are many less thans that I can put onto this. But the important part is that we need to become more self-aware of everything. Our actions and reactions with people, our interactions with people, it's all those action words. So that was the basic idea. So now I want to go and speak about Natani's work specifically. Natani had a very different approach to this exhibition. Um, 
most likely because her experiences are different. We all have different experiences and that's what our content is about. So Natani um, suffers from epilepsy and having something like that uh, rule your life in a lot of ways I think makes her outlook different and she didn't take the approach of looking at the pretty things around us to draw our attention away from our phones. She looked at her own life experience and her experience of epilepsy and being in hospital and if you're lying in a bed then all you're doing is looking up. So if you look at her words there she is lying in a bed being wheeled in or out of surgery and perhaps she's imagining that giraffe um, perhaps the medication that she's on is creating some very interesting hallucinations but the point is that, that her life experience makes her much more aware I think of how precious things really are um, and how quickly a normal life can be snatched away from you. And to draw attention to the problem, she puts something that you wouldn't expect there. A giraffe in a hospital would certainly draw my attention. So if you look at each one, um, this one is seizures trample all over me and I contort in ways that no one should see a human being. I mean, it's, it's heart-wrenching that content creators with their beautiful lives and traveling and flying and fancy hotels and fancy food, and then you've got the contrast, somebody who is suffering. Um, and I think, I, I know Tani a little bit, Natani, I've known a little while now, and I know how much she appreciates the little things. The beautiful little things are what really count. Um, and that's why I appreciate her approach to, to this exhibition. We quickly want to show you, she submitted five works for this exhibition. So let's just show you the last two as well. Show you her experience. Um, this one is, I'm in that damn tunnel again. Um, so if you've had any scans done, then you know exactly what that tunnel is about.